In this video, I'll show you how to set different prices per country on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, we've got this particular product here and for everyone, the price is $150. But for our US customers, we've actually specified the price to be $100. So let's go ahead and view this particular product. All right, so here you can see it's $150. Currently, I'm recording from in the UK. Let's load up our VPN and let's switch our location to the US. All right, so now when we refresh this page, we can see the price is $100. So it's working exactly as it should. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP wholesale plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. One other thing to note is that with this particular plugin is we can create conditional rules, right? So we can say, for example, if the customer is in the US and they have a particular user, a role then we want to show them x price and vice versa so you can kind of mix and match the various different rules assuming you've downloaded the aov up wholesale pricing plugin the next step is to actually go ahead and integrate the maximine um, ip detection navigate over to woocommerce and then settings integration and then here we just need to add our maximine geolocation integration so this way when a customer visits our website we can detect their location based on their ip address okay and then this will allow us to dynamically display different prices um, per country right just click on this link here go ahead and sign up for your MindMax account once you've signed up you just need to generate a license key all right so i've got my license key here let's go ahead and copy this over and let's paste it in here and let's go ahead and hit save changes okay so here it's saying our key is invalid sometimes when you just generated a key you just need to leave it a few minutes and then try again Perfect. Now it's working fine. And then now we can go ahead and configure our contribute pricing. All right. So we'll navigate over to wholesale pricing. And then in your case, you'll go ahead and create a new pricing group. So again, we can approach this in several different ways. So for example, a typical use case for us is we've got customers that sells to retail customers and wholesale customers, but the wholesale prices for products um, in India might be different from the wholesale prices to customers in US, for example. So in that situation, our customers, they typically create a specific pricing based on a user role, which is a wholesaler. And in here, they can actually specify the country that that wholesaler belongs to. So here, we're just going to keep things super simple. And we're going to imagine we're just selling it to retail customers, right? So in this situation, we'll just say set this to everyone. And then here, we just specify the different countries in which we want to list out the prices for. And we'll just say the United States, right? So currently my store prices are set to the UK, right? So that's fine. So whenever a customer is browsing our store from the US, then we want to display a different US-based pricing, all right? So we'll enable this option as well to only show them that US-based pricing. So let's update this group. Okay, so that's fine. And if you wanted to add even more um, countries, so you can repeat the process to add different pricing groups for different countries. All right, so let's navigate over to all products and let's test this out. Okay, so for example, this bicycle product, let's click edit. All right, and now when we scroll down and then here we've got this new field here which says um, the US right and we can add our US base price in here okay so here you can see for everyone else it will be $150 but for our US customers maybe we just want to say $100 all right so let's hit update let's view product okay and here you can see it's $450 all right so that's fine so now let's go ahead and actually test um, the prices for our US based customers so I'm going to use a VPN for this all right so let's connect to the US okay and then let's refresh this page and here you can see it's displaying the price of $100. So it's working exactly as it should. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support.